let's take a look at Notebook LM. And Notebook LM is definitely save you a lot of time, give you a lot more insight and control over the information. And this information will be documents that you upload or link to to see where we're going. I already created this one, and I'll show you how to create one from scratch, that in here, I connected it to a PDF of an article I'm creating about how workplace labels might go away thanks to AI. Whether it's good or not, to be determined. It already gave me a summary and some nice key topics that I could click through to. And on this side, I started to quiz it. What challenges exist for creatives in the face of demarketized creativity? And gives an answer, bullet list, how to overcome these challenges. And you could even start to ask a question such as, what are creative campaign ideas to create to inform people about this? And here's some suggestions that you could then further vet beyond here or just dive deeper into the document. Whether it's a creative brief, an RFP and the supporting documents, contracts or historical information about your company, campaigns that you've previously done, campaigns that you'll do in the future. This will give you a cool way to query that information and expand upon it. Let's create a new notebook to explore this further. If you dabble in machine learning, this will seem like a familiar process. Notebooklm.google. Try Notebook LM. One that you were just looking at is articles one. I'm going to create a new notebook. And notebook is a collection. It's a collection of sources that will make up this world that you can explore. I'm gonna add a source and you can see it's a drive PDF or copied text. I'm going to connect it to PDF. And the first one was this article. Now I'm going to add this article. This could be briefs and supporting documents that go along with the briefs. That will be an excellent advertising use of this. I wanna make sure I'm getting across the meaning, the intent, the key idea, and of course the voice. Or challenge this article to go into a new direction. And based upon this back and forth conversation, I could create a stronger end product, in this case, a bunch of words for an article. I could also start to add more sources to this, whether it's supporting document sources, maybe I wanna connect the previous article. This way I can have an arc going from the previous article to this article and figure out that bridge. You click here to make it a relevant source, I'll start typing, summarize this article. And in this article, the advertising industry is evolving rapidly due to the rise of AI. In case you haven't heard, this is happening. This can create a dilemma for agencies how to maintain your unique identity while also adapting AI to stay competitive. In this article, I explored the concept of the rise of ghost agencies and what that will mean for all of us. For me, for the article, I wanna ask, what is the point of view of the author? So here I'm trying to see, am I getting the point across? And the author point of view is that advertising industry is evolving rapidly due to the rise of AI, which we already covered which has created a dilemma for agencies, and the author believes that the ghost agencies are a new type of agencies that can emerge in response to this dilemma. The author also believes that AI is leading to a paradigm shift in the industry where the boundaries between roles are blurry and the concept of specialized functions may become obsolete, which, yeah. And the author highlights the importance of making conscious choices to learn more about AI and to embed a brand's ethos into the fabric of the operation to create an ally in the quest to preserve the brand legacy. And don't you want your brand to survive? Is this a positive article? The article presents a balanced perspective on the impact of AI in the advertising industry, which includes insightful concerns and suggestions. So. If I am presenting a balanced view, that is my goal in this article. I'm looking to go back and forth to raise concerns and also offer solutions and let people come to their own conclusion on what can happen and what paths they or their agency might take. Now, I'm kind of curious if I add a source and add the other article to this, I can ask the commonalities and how to bridge these two concepts together. What do these? The two articles share the commonality of emphasizing the importance of creativity 
in the advertising industry, even in the face of technological advancements. So yeah, it looks like I'm on track to meet the conceptual goal of these articles. The authors argue, well, it's just me arguing with myself, that creativity is a key differentiator in the advertising industry and that companies that continue to invest in this area will be more successful in the long run. Yep, that basically sums it up, but it looks like I have to also strengthen the point that these creators have to be more technologically savvy and open to take advantage of these tools. I would now explore the balance of the two articles. Can I create a stronger first and second article by laying little seeds, little notions from one article into the other? And of course there is a third and fourth article, but I'm not gonna go there with this demo. Notebook LM also helps you explore information by giving these helpful topics to click upon. So this way there'll be a hint to help you go deeper. You can click on the suggestion and get an answer back. And this way, if you're kind of like wondering where to start, let Notebook LM give you guidance on how to better explore the information you connected it to.